we got a few things to talk about. Everybody wants to know what's going on with the PS5. So the last time we talked about this PS5 update, I was going to try to bring network attached storage to the PlayStation 5 using one of NVIDIA's DPUs. You can check out the recap video right up there, but suffice it to say, it cost me $5,000 in hardware, and it didn't work at the time because we had to configure a whole bunch of things. And thanks to the software architect over at Grade, which is a company that makes server level NVMe RAID setups, and in fact, Linus just did a whole video about them you can check out right up there. He got a lot of this stuff working for us. And because the previous video, thanks to you all getting over 100,000 views, NVIDIA actually took notice of the video and reached out to me to start working on the project. So before we go over where we're actually at right now, I wanna say huge thanks to Wes over at NVIDIA and a huge thanks to David over at Grade. That is the reason why we're even considering continuing this project right now because it is a massive undertaking that I was not fully prepared for, especially when it comes to the amount of Linux configuration that is happening here. But in order for us to continue, we need a couple of things from the community here. Number one, we need you to show NVIDIA that you actually want this project to continue. Tweet hashtag NVIDIA PS5. Make sure you watch this video, hit the like button so that NVIDIA sees that there is community interest in such a crazy project like that. So they keep providing resources to actually developing some of the things that are going on here because it needs specialized input from NVIDIA. We cannot do this without them. And then number two, we need your financial support. I dropped a ton of money on this video. These DPUs cost $2,000 each and it's simply simply because I wanted to test this all out. Could I afford them? Yes. Can I afford not to resell them afterwards? No. And this project has gone on months longer than I thought it was going to. I thought that I was gonna be able to recoup my cost by now and that hasn't happened, but I want to see this until the very end. So if you could support us on Patreon or pick up some of our new merch, which is linked in the video description, that would help to keep this project going and making it so that I don't need to sell the DPU or if there are any other specialized parts that we need for this, I can continue to afford it. So now for the technical details of what's going on here. The TLDR of what we're trying to achieve is use this specialized network equipment that only NVIDIA provides to act as if it's a local NVMe storage device on the PlayStation 5. Only NVIDIA has NVMe snap technology as it's called for this. And that is kind of where we're running into an issue right here. Because you see, we got the PlayStation 5 to acknowledge that this exists which is a huge step in and of itself. We're running this RAID card with four terabytes of storage on a completely different computer and the PlayStation doesn't like it. And in fact, it beeps three times and shuts down because it doesn't want any part of it. However, thanks to David over at Grade, because we can read the logs of the DPU, what we're finding is that there's certain limitations baked in to this Mellanox DPU card that make it so that the PlayStation 5 can't commit everything that it needs to to the card. So we've run into several bottlenecks, but this is the first hard wall stop that we ran into. And essentially, it's the MDTS capacity needs to be set to 512K instead of 256K. However, NVIDIA doesn't officially support that. So we need an official firmware adjustment to this DPU, which is something I'm not technically capable of doing, nor is David, we actually need NVIDIA's help on this because if they don't upgrade the DPU for us, we can't even get past this bottleneck, let alone try to continue the project. However, we don't know that it will work completely after that because we just can't get past that step. But it is good news. Once we configured the DPU properly, the PS5 went from booting up perfectly and not recognizing the DPU at all to actually throwing out error messages and making sure that we can't boot into it at all. So it does recognize what's happening. We have something working here. We just need a little bit more technical analysis to get it done. And that's where Wes over at NVIDIA comes into the picture. He messaged me after our last video and said that he works on the technical marketing side, especially with the DPU projects. And in fact, he has a whole DPU set up over at his station in order to try to help us fix this. But there are a few more resources outside of him that we're gonna need to get involved. Number one, the engineering team over at the Mellanox division to actually 
actually help write us firmware code. And then number two, he needs a PS5 so he can test this himself, but Nvidia won't send him one. <laughs> Apparently a multi-billion dollar organization can't officially write off a PlayStation 5 as a legitimate work expense. And so maybe we can just uh, get Nvidia to buy their employee a PlayStation 5 for work reasons, obviously, but it would absolutely help this project to move along if we had somebody with technical know-how moving alongside this with me, because I think I'm probably one of the only few people in the world who has a setup where you have a DPU and a PS5 and the connection for everything that's going on here. Wes has been great in trying to connect us with other people at NVIDIA to get things done. And that's why I want us as a community to show NVIDIA that there is massive community interest in this. People actually want to see a PS5 with some hackery going on and connected to a DPU so that we could do something that Sony never intended for their product to do. And then NVIDIA never intended that their product could do. It would be the merging of weird tech worlds and creating the ultimate PlayStation 5, but we need help. And we need people to be interested in this project. And so it's a pretty simple ask. Tweet, hashtag NVIDIA PS5, show them that you want this project to continue, watch this video, share it, hit the like button, comment down below that you actually want to see this happen. Maybe we can get this further up the chain and NVIDIA is like highly motivated to get this done because I'm excited to see it happen. I want this done and it'd be great if you guys got involved in that too. And also support us on Patreon and buy our merch so that I can afford this.